Uh huh. Well, do you have a preference as to whether you prefer acting or directing, or do you like them both for different reasons? I like them both. Yeah, I like them both. It it, it really is. Uh, you know, I like what I do. Um, I I enjoy acting. I think if I didn't act, I I would miss it immediately. I I, I really love that process as well. Uh, directing has its own joy. I'm I'm. Uh, we we're just uh, we just finished auditions actually. For Top Dog Underdog, and um, uh, so I'm in the midst of uh, of rediscovering the joy of directing. Actually, you know, each new project. It's been a little while since I directed a play, so each time you take that on again, you begin to rediscover why you like it and why you enjoy it. Wow. What What is it about uh, Top Dog Underdog that uh, that appealed to you? Well, I mean, the short answer is, is something that uh, Roy had suggested, that we might do at our theater and then move to his theater. And I thought that was a uh, really interesting thing, that uh, we would begin at uh, our theater here in, on the West Coast, and then it would have new life on the, at his theater on the East Coast. Um, ha- having read the play now and, and been involved with it for a while, it's just an extraordinary piece of writing. It, it really is a beautiful piece of writing. Uh, Susan Laurie Parks, as you know, is a Pulitzer Prize winner, and um, although Top Dog may be her best-known play, uh, it, it, uh, it's, it's, um, it, it's just a pleasure to have uh, this, uh, this writer that I think is going to be one of the more influential American playwrights for the 21st century and be able to do that show here. Um, in fact... If any of your listeners know her, please ask her to come see the show. We'd love to have her here. <laughs> okay, everyone make a note of that. <laughs> That's right. Um, with, um, well, with your own theater company, you run it uh, with, with your wife, Lisa Lang. And I'm just, mm-hmm. I wonder, um, is it is 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 it um easy to do that when you're you to to work with her and act with her when you're married together like that is it, are you guys on the same page a lot and yeah yeah i mean yes we are I, I think creatively we're on the same page and you know she's very easy to work with and uh uh actually asked me to uh direct her and you know when we're doing a play together where she's doing her solo show so it it's uh uh, and, and seems to seems to uh, enjoy that and, and and thrives with that. So um, it works. You know, she's the one who runs the theater. I mean, she's there every day and has been for the now. I believe we're in our thirteenth year of existence. I've had this other job that I go to, and um, so uh, she's there every day and, and takes care of the theater and runs the theater. And our theater happens to be in a building. Uh, that we own as well, that uh, it's um, in, in which we have a number of offices and a number of tenants. So it's um, it's a full time job that she has taking care of, of the building on one hand and uh, the theater on the other. Did you guys meet through acting? Or? Yeah, it was, it, yeah, we did. We we knew each other years ago and um, uh, as uh, acquaintances and. Uh, we didn't really, uh, you know, the sh- get together. We were both we were both married, and so it was never, uh, but never any kind of romantic entanglement or even a hint of uh, interest from either one of us until years later. And we were neither one of us were married at the time, and uh, all of a sudden, uh, my wife actually started to call me uh, uh, to join her in, in some poker games that she was having with friends of ours, mutual friends, and uh, I never showed up, but we started to talk on the telephone. And uh, I think we talked back and forth for probably more than a year before I uh, finally said, oh, let's go out on New Year's Eve. And uh, that's what we did. <laughs> well, I think it's fantastic that, uh, yeah, it grew from that, and you guys have this uh, you know, mutual love of acting and love of running right. the theater together, and it's lasted uh, for so many years. It's, it's, it's really terrific. Well, it has. Det- I mean, yeah. no, go ahead. Oh, how do you determine, like, what plays you pick for each theater season? Um, well, Top Dog is, is unique in that it's the first published play that we've ever done. Uh, we tend not to do plays that have, have been produced in other places. So 
So, uh, so it's unique in that way. We've never done a published play before. Uh, we uh, like original pieces uh, because we, we, we like having that idea of doing world premieres and presenting pieces that people haven't seen. Uh, I wouldn't say there's a, there's a strict criteria of style other than the fact that it's original. We've done everything from uh, a play called National Pastime, which was uh, uh, about Jackie Robinson, to uh, our first play, Three Songs, about the blacklist, to two one-acts uh, that, uh, in, in fact, uh, Ariane Zucker uh, starred in, uh, in one of those that was uh, a send-up, a satire on the old uh, film noir. It was very funny and, and very slapsticky. Uh, so there's no style of theater, um, but we do want original pieces and... Uh, we want good pieces. We, you know, the writing is the first thing that we we go for, and we have a process. Usually, we have uh, we workshop the pieces and have several readings. And there's a process, but um, uh, we we love good theater and good writing. What made you decide to become an actor? <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know, I'd love to say I, I grew up in the theater and and. Uh, all of that, I, you know, I didn't see my first play until I was in high school, and that was a, a musical at an outdoor theater. I grew up in a very small town in in Kansas, so we didn't have much opportunity for for anything like that. Uh, and uh, truthfully, I, I was I was going to college after I I got out of the Marine Corps. I was going to college, um, uh, had interests in an entirely different world of the theater. But uh, a friend of mine, who now is one of my closest friends, but at that time we uh, we had just met, and we were sitting around talking about the best place to meet girls. And he convinced me that it was the theater department. And that was it. <laughs> um, well, I also was surprised to find out that uh, before you became an actor, you uh, you were a journalist and you actually interviewed mm-hmm. Uh, big film stars like Michael Douglas and Jack Nicholson and such. Right. Did you feel that that experience of interviewing those actors uh, might have inspired you also? Yeah, I think it did. I, I, actually, I do. I think it did. Uh, by that time, I, I was certainly flirting with the idea of becoming an actor. I, I actually uh, did go to college to uh, enhance my my life as a journalist. I um, had intended to become a journalist when I when I finished, and um, uh, so that's why I was there in the first place. And um, but by the time I uh, uh, got the job and was uh, had become an entertainment writer uh, for the local newspaper, um, the idea was percolating in the back of my head. And um, what, what, I, what impressed me was every with everyone is uh, how gracious they were. Uh, everyone that I interviewed was they were just very, very gracious, and I think it brought uh what for me then was kind of a fantasy world into a sense of reality um, that I may not have uh, actually dealt with i, I don 't know at that point if acting or or theater was something i I was taking that seriously, and suddenly here were these people that were in many cases, uh, quite accomplished at what they did, uh, very famous and very successful. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, they, they could not have been more gracious. And I, I began to think, well, this is, a, this is a real world occupation. Maybe I could actually do this. <laughs> <laughs> I found the same experience myself with doing these shows, how, you know, so often, you know, I, I get nervous and, and usually most of my experiences have been, you know, also you know, the actors I've talked to have been pretty gracious as well. So it's, it's pretty, yeah. that's that's nice to hear. 